Today, we have someone so stylish that it is truly unparalleled. His drip alone sends shivers down spines and his choice of weapon is horrendously underrated. I present to you the Yeehaw Build. Okay, The cowboy is closely related to Captain Noob in many ways. They work best with a lot of the same utility and gadgets, but the cowboy has two options for primary weapon the revolver and the model shotgun. But my personal favorite is the shotgun. Between the gas mines, jump pad, heel beam and defibs, you can be a lean, mean, team-centric fighting machine. As far as the tech goes, it should all be pretty self-explanatory. Jump pad is for bonk, the defib for the zap, and gas is for point denial, but the shotgun is where things get interesting. You see, the shotgun is rather underrated. Its range is surprisingly far, and its damage close range is devastating, especially paired with a cheeky elbow here and there. Which, by the way, doesn't slow down your cooldown between shots. The shotgun is also incredibly effective at popping gas mines and exploding barrels. I believe that the way barrels work in this game is rather odd. Instead of barrels having a sort of health bar, they seem to burst based on how many shots have actually hit them, making the shotgun an excellent weapon for busting those barrels. I am not entirely sure if that's how it works, but the shotgun seems to almost always one-shot a barrel. You can also place a mine under where you know an enemy is and pop that gas, and it will go through the floor a bit, gaining a cheeky kill. The play style of the cowboy is more team-centric than most other medium builds. While the AK or F car player is busy pretending they are in a Sigma Frag montage, playing alone, the cowboy should be near a teammate at all times. The cowboy damage output is slow, but comes in large chunks. Pair that alongside some chip damage from a teammate and your opponent will be flattened like Wiley e. Coyote from Roadrunner in a few seconds. Being close to your team also enables you to heal and res when needed, which is crucial in a team game. The cowboy struggles with range. Try to have some form of cover at all times. Wield your big iron, help your team, and look as devilish and badass as Django at all times. It's also mandatory to have a little teabag party if you ever come across another random cowboy player. That's all for now. <laughs> I'll see you in season two.